welcome to the Know Yourself channel, where making astrology known and understandable is the number one priority. I'm the Scottish astrologer, and in this video, I talk about the rare conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, known as the Great Conjunction, which occurs on December the 21st, 2020. On Yule, okay, or the winter solstice, as it's otherwise known. These two huge planets will be so close together, they will appear to make a bright double planet, as they are only seven arc minutes apart during this particular conjunction. Now, the last time this occurred was back in the year 2000, but it was in the zodiac sign of Taurus. But not as close, okay, and certainly not on the special day of the winter solstice. This is what makes it even more special. Now this time, the Great Conjunction occurs in 2020, it will occur in the sign of Aquarius, if you use the tropical system, or 5 degrees of Capricorn through the sidereal system, okay? I personally use the tropical system myself. Now the Great Conjunction of 2020, as it occurs on the 21st of the 12th, again a very special day, but if you add these two numbers, which are the, re the reverse of each other, together, 21 and 12, you get the number 33, which is a very important and special number for those of you who know numerology. So this great conjunction is an extra special event indeed, very special, which marks the birth of the new solar year, okay, on that day. And the shortest day of the year, okay? And this date, the 21st of the 12th, throughout history and throughout many different cultures, is the date in which a so-called divine child arrives or is born, okay? Now, most people just say that's astrotheology, you know, it's just talking about astrological events, okay, that are being described down here as real people, etc., but or if you follow as above, so below to the letter, you would realise it's more than that. As above, so below. The events that take place in heaven correlate with events that take place on earth. So if you follow as above, so below, you have to think there's more to the stories than just astrotheology. And now, again, as this winter solstice or Yule happens to align with the great conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter, which only takes place every 20 years, okay? And as it takes place in the age of Aquarius, tropically again, at the very beginning of the zodiac sign of Aquarius, zero degrees, and with the number 33 being involved also, because of the day it happens on, I believe, I truly believe this will be a very special event that will indeed change humanity forever, and this could even be the day that a great teacher who will be remembered forever will either be born or reveal themselves. Okay, it might not be a great teacher, it might be the, quite the opposite of that, but somebody powerful, influential and who people listen to, whether their advice is good or not, okay? People will believe that is. And also through this great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn and also through aspects uh, put to it, we will definitely experience either a huge technological advancement or the opposite, a huge technological setback that will change things either way forever, okay, for humanity. Now, it is impossible to tell if it will be an advancement or a setback as Jupiter is expansion and Saturn is contraction, so it can go either way for us. But as Saturn is the ruler of Aquarius, or Capricorn if you prefer a sidereal system, okay, so both signs, Saturn does indeed hold more power during this great conjunction than Jupiter. So you could look at it in that way if you want. But regardless, okay, of what happens and what the change it will bring to humanity, okay, the change will be immense either way, okay, what we'll experience will be immense, I promise you that. This is a rare and special event. You can only take my word for it, but 
truly. But in time, you will see for yourselves what the change and how immense the change was brought forth through this event, okay? Now, we also have Uranus retrograding in Taurus, which is making a square aspect to Jupiter and Saturn. As is Mars, okay, making a square aspect. He's in rulership as in Aries, okay? So, that's a scary sign, okay? But what this shows me is that this change we will experience is definitely linked with finance and money at the core of it. So we'll see massive change, okay, with money and finance. And this will probably probably be through the collapse of the dollar, okay, and the creation of a new world currency, like a world used currency, like the dollar is today. But again, with Mars, the god of war, in his glory, in his sign of Aries, this is an extremely worrying sign of war, okay? And I'm not trying to be a scaremonger, that's just the facts of it. And it seems to me, humanity will be faced with two choices, okay? Create a global, sustainable, and properly backed and protected financial system, or have all-out war for resources, etc., okay? And either scenario will bring huge change to humanity in both respects. Or if we are already at war, or if there's a big war going on in the world, okay, before this great conjunction actually occurs, then I believe the great conjunction, when it does occur, or not long after, that we will see an end to war and a new beginning for humanity, okay. Now this conjunction is so hard to pre precisely predict because of the planets involved, okay? It may even herald an end to the endless wars perpetrated and set up by the powers that be because the old world order power will cease to exist with the end of their control of money through the death of the petrol dollar. Okay, so again it's hard to pre precisely predict what the event or what the change will be through this great conjunction but I can tell you for sure for a hundred percent that it will be linked with finance and money or war or the threat of war and I can say for sure that some major event will indeed change things forever at some point not too long after this great conjunction takes place okay if history is anything to go by now if we look at the big event okay, that happened not long after the last great conjunction of the year 2000 and how that guided humanity into a certain direction, okay, because not long after and that happened, the last great conjunction of 2000, come 2001, a year later, obviously the events of 9-11 took place and that obviously, it was set up, but regardless, it all happened it happened all the same, okay, not too long after this great conjunction took place. So, set up or not, the time where it happened is bang on, okay. And everybody knows how humanity was definitely guided by that particular event in a certain direction. And we're still in that direction today, trying to get out of it. With all the endless wars in the Middle East, etc. Just really to keep the petrol dollar surviving. And if you go back to the following year, after the time before 2000, to the previous Great Conjunction of 1980, you will see, okay, some of the events of the year following, 1981, were major events that definitely put humanity on a certain path and in a certain direction. Now, you should look at the link in the description and see for yourselves the events that took place that year, 1981. It's very intriguing. From the fall of the Italian government, okay, due to their direct involvement with a fascist Masonic cell called Propaganda Jew, okay, from that to Ronald Reagan being sworn in, then an attempted assassination of him, to urban rioting throughout the UK, to the wedding of Charles and Diana, to the invention of crack cocaine, to the birth of a host of influential or powerful people who are powerful or influ influential 
right now, including Jared Kushner, for instance, who is now the senior advisor and son-in-law of the current president of the United States. Honestly, you need to look for yourself. 1981 was crammed, packed full of events that definitely put humanity in a certain direction, okay? And I am 100% certain that 2021, the year after the Great Conjunction of 2020, will be no different. And I will go as far to say that 2020, 2021 will be remembered forever as a crucial major point in time for humanity. It's truly an exciting time to be alive. Now again, this Great Conjunction is a lot rarer and more special than others, okay, first because of astronomically how close Saturn and Jupiter will actually be, then the sign it takes place in, and most importantly, the importance of and how special a day in which they come to their closest point together, okay, you, the winter solstice. Trust me, this will be, this will drastically change things forever through the ways in which I have previously mentioned. So remember, keep your eyes to the west, okay? Just after sunset on the 21st of December, this winter solstice 2020, to see the Great Conjunction with your own eyes, as long as it's not cloudy, obviously. Here in Scotland, most likely won't see it. We get robbed of everything, all the eclipses, everything. It's annoying. But yeah, look to the west just after sunset to see it for yourself with your own eyes, okay? And then give it a year and you will see its potent effects, okay, on humanity, I promise you. You can quote me on that. Okay, folks, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell at the right hand side of the subscribe button.